Hi, I'm uh, uh, Rachel. I've had a um, a, a slight um, slight stammer in in my speech since I was about uh, three years of age, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Um, it first affected me really when I went went to, to school because that's really when it was at its worst. Uh, when I was um, about age six, I had to go to a, diff a different school because I had a lot of um, I had a lot of behavioural issues. It was um, all right there. Not it wasn't that um, it wasn't horrible or anything. However, when I went back into main main school normal school, um, it was hard because everyone was all the same. All the, all the boys were the same, and um, and um, and all the girls were the same. I was the odd one out, and and I I had um, a type of difference which I wasn't really able to hide very well. I think the thing that um, the others at, at school who were my age and the, you know, the kids at school, the thing they found hard to deal with was the fact that they thought because I found it hard to talk, but I wasn't able to do anything else. So when I that expressed that I was very able, like to do um, to do to do art and different things like that. They found it really, really, really hard to cope with. Um, by the end of school, um, I found that I did, I, I did rather, rather well in everything, um, in everything that I wanted to do well at, and 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 all the the other kids there. They just weren't able, able to work out why, and they had nothing to say. And that was one of the one of the best ever, ever, uh, best ever things I think I went through up until, until then, because I was able to show them that it just because you've got a slight um, a slight difference doesn't mean you're not able to do things. Um, so what I did then was I really wanted to go on to. Um, to, to art school, which in the end I was able to do right the way through. Um, I had opportunities which I did to work and um, then to go to art school um, um, overseas. And I I did various um, various sort of outdoor act, act, activities and that. I did um, outdoor um, pursuits as well as as well as, as the um, the art that I was very involved in, um, and and at the e end of it all, I was advised, and this was only about uh, for, um, four years ago. I was advised to teach, going to teach, and I thought, me teach never. How was I going to do that? I found it hard to talk. I mean, I mean yes, I had a lot to offer, to offer people, but me teaching. So what happened then was at first I thought I wanted to teach in um, well at schools basically. Um, so I went to first of all to go to go to train to teach in secondary school. Um, it I, I never lasted very long because it's not because I find it hard to talk necessarily, but it was more to do with the fact that when you're in schools it's really fast. I found. You know, I found the pace of life very, very fast. And I suppose you you do have to have um, a certain air about you, a certain certain amount of experience about you, which I didn't have. I've never been a person that's um, you know particularly um, particularly streetwise. And I think that's why I did find it hard in schools. But what I did um, the next year after that was I went back to learn to teach um, the over 16 age group. I went to, uh, to one of the best, um, the best um, um, uh, out, out of the universities to do that and I managed to get on really well there. So I thought well if I'm managing all right here then I should be able then to find work because, because at the time there was work out there. Um, so I did these application forms, as we all did, to get the jobs. Um, 
I was very honest on the application forms in the section that says do you have any extra needs or do, do, do you have any disabilities all that sort of thing now I know that what I have I, I think of it as being um, being halfway in, in between the disabilities so it, so, it, so it was really up, up to me whether I wanted to put it or not but I did because I thought well I'll be really honest um, when I used to, to put this on the forms, I had no interviews. I wasn't managing to be offered interviews. So what I did then was I never wrote it on the forms. I did the application forms, I never mentioned it. Then, all at once, I began to get interviews. Um, so out of however many, um, 100 maybe, uh, 50 applicants, whatever it was, I was, was on the shortlist. So I should go to these interviews, this is all, all to teach, the interviews to, to, you know, to, to become a okay, good teaching. When I did all these interviews, I, I never managed um, to get the jobs. Um, it, it, it managed to take me about eight um, months or so before I got anything. And um, this was a few years ago now. But even then, the, the jobs that I managed to get were to be there to teach if anybody was off sick um, or anybody was, was was away for any reason. Um, now I have began to get to get into teaching a bit more of my of my um my own classes, um, and also I get to to work with, with a lot, lots of learners as well on a one to to one basis. Which, which is also rather, rather good. I get to do um, uh, holiday workshops as well, as well for schools, which is like art based. So um, I do a lot, of, do a lot of different things really. I get to teach adults how how to read as well. Like they uh, find it hard to read and read and write. I get to help them too. I think as well the hardest thing for us is that. Um, we know most of the time what we want to say and and most of us are or if if not all of us are clever and we've got just as just as much right to be heard as um anybody else just because it's it's likely to take us slightly longer time to get the words words out we we still do deserve to be heard and and it's becoming becoming more and more in our society where it's becoming a lot harder to sweep anyone um, uh, under the carpet because because we we realize now that we do have a voice whoever we are and that voice deserves to be heard